this was an initiative of the government of India of one district, one product. I think it's a good in initiative, but all initiatives, like slogans, need to have its walk the talk effect on the ground. The stakeholders need synergy and support. However well intentioned the initiative is, if at all it doesn't reach the stakeholders, it's of no use. It's just like an empty slogan. But I believe that there is focus and intent to do justice to this uh, walk the talk element over here. Also, I must compliment Dr. Devia Raneji. She has been very proactive in adding value to the Feni industry and to the Feni stakeholders. We need more such synergy from the state government and from the central government. I will take the liberty to even suggest as our Prime Minister, Honourable Prime Minister, travels around the world, he should present a bottle of Feni to all dignitaries in countries wherever alcohol is not haram. That would be the best way to be an ambassador of India and brand Goa. Just introduce yourself and tell us what is this program all about. I'm the Pangana and I'm from Invest India. Uh, we are here today to discuss about the One District, One Product Initiative by DPIIT under Ministry of Commerce and Industry, New Delhi. So this initiative is basically about, uh, there are 761 districts and over 1,000 products that have been chosen. These products have been chosen by the state governments all across India uh, with consultation to the district authorities. What Invest India does is compile the list and uh, we do interventions as a facilitator. So today um, we are having the 11th workshop in uh, collaboration with Press Information Bureau. It is basically to raise aw awareness about the products of Goa. Uh, there are two products, North Goa, South Goa, Feni and Cashews. We'll be talking more about uh, the export data of Feni and Cashew, what is the importance and how has Goa scaled it up in the market uh, across the globe. And uh, uh, Director Ma'am Industries will also be sharing more insights about Goa policies around it. So, uh, yes. Thank this you. is a one-day agreement. Yes, this is a one-day event. We'll also be having farmers uh, of uh, Feni and Cashew, and we'll also be having gem onboarding training and a master class around cashew production. So I hope that uh, this coverage will help a lot of people raise awareness around these products, and more and more people will start buying this locally from Goa. And uh, yeah, thank you. No, <laughs> नमस्कार हाँ विनोद गोपाल बर्वे वापस से शतकार मका आंसर सरकार गवा सरकार ने ओडियो पी सगर लोन दिले आने मका से जैकफुट पस्सिंग कर पाक मका तो जन चांस दिलो और त्याग करना मका आम जब काजू जब बागेत जब जैकफुट साथ ले तो फुकड़ो तले तो हंड्रेड पस्स मौज यूज़ कर पाक मेरा ना आम जब सताजी यूज़ करूँ साइडी शतकर है जब आम जब गवर्नमेंट जो ओडियो पीस की मसला नहीं तो डायरेक्टर इंडस्ट्री से रिप्रेजेंटेटिव कंट्रोल टेंशन है हम चाहे कड़े अप्रोच जाले और टेंशन है हम का सालेर के ऐसी स्कीम मसा तुम इधर मशीनरी के ऊपर सोता रहे जाले तुम ही योजना करता आमी ऑयल फिल्टर माये वोल्डी तो ये फ्राइंग पैन ये सब लेम बोले एडवांस टेक्नोलॉजी आज लेली ये मशीनें मिले आने आम तो उपयोग करूँगा तो मगर तो बरपुर फायदा डाला सके अगर कौशल जी ये प्रोडक्ट कितने बस इतने कुत्ता प्रोडक्शन आह जैकफ्रूट से सीड्स विकता आने बल बहुत जो चॉपिंग करूँ चिप्स करता जैकफ्रूट चिप्स अंतिया हम ऑल ओर को आ गलता मैं सोता जे ब्रांड को आऊँ गलता दे मैं तो का फायदा कुल डेज के बरपुर फायदा लो तो 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 हमको भी बरपुर दालो कारण ये पौन अस मुख्य आनुसार सांग सुता 
ये पणस आसा न्ही ते पिकोन पडटाले आणि ते गवे रेडी होऊन आमकां त्रास करताले आता ते पणस पिकपाचे बंद जाले गवे रेडोवपाचे कमी जाले वो आमकां व्हडलो फायदो जाला ते तसं Director, Director of Industries and Trade and Commerce, to ma'am, please grace the stage. Thank you. So, our product initiative. This, in, this initiative is, is essentially by DPIT, Department Ministry of Commerce and Industry. So, over two years back, over 1,000 products from 761 districts were chosen. You would be wondering how these products were chosen. They were chosen by the state government in consultation with the district authorities. And uh, over 1,000, like 1,900 products are there. Uh, if from Goa, we have two districts, North Goa, South Goa, and around four products are there, namely Cashew and Feeney. So what is ODOP? ODOP is an initiative that uh, selects brand promotion around products that have some cultural and um, historical significance to India. And why, were, why was this initiative started by the Honorable Prime Minister? It was started to foster balanced regional growth and economic development to ensure social economic growth across all regions. So what Invest India usually does, we compile this list from all across the states and we work in consultation with the state governments and the central governments and uh, plan interventions to promote around these products. Two districts, North Goa and South Goa and Cashew and Feeney are the most prominent products that were chosen by the state government due to their historical and cultural significance. So what does the ODOP usually does as a facilitator between state government and central governments? We have initiatives, we have a research division that creates project action reports. So project action reports are basically uh, a research um, document that tell us about the products and their bottlenecks in the market. And so that uh, in consultation with the state, we can try and find resolutions around those products. We also have capacity development initiatives under this, we have uh, design workshops in collaboration with uh, National Institute of Design. Recently, we had one for Sushni Embroidery in Bharuj, and uh, also Goa will be having them soon. We also have, in collaboration with uh, India Post, Dark Neryat Kendra for exporters who uh, usually export their products outside, 
and people who are looking forward to export these products ourselves to so support to them. We do have national organic certification drives, artisan IDs, weaver IDs, GST drives. These are for the people who want to expand their business within the country but they do not get any support. So this is an initiative completely focused on them. We also have support for gem onboarding because now the government's mandate is to procure all their gifts and products from gem platform. So we do give gem onboarding drives also. So today we have farmers from Goa and we'll be having a gem onboarding and drive session uh, in collaboration with the department. Uh, in 2023 union budget, we also had an announcement by Honorable Finance Minister for setting up Unity Malls. Unity Malls is a one-stop marketplace for the one district, one product in products across India. So ma'am will be telling you more about Goa's Unity Mall, how much progress has been made. Uh, so we'll take those questions up in the Rather than making it a more uh, speech-oriented discussion, it would be a little more interactive. Department of Promotion of uh, in Internal Trade and Industry, uh, DPIT. And uh, DPIT ka ODOP initiative, which is our Honorable PM ke kafi close initiative. Hai. Iske tahet, this is a media interaction program. Uh, we have seen that uh, a lot of ODOP products are extremely culturally and traditionally important, but however, have not gotten the kind of support and promotion, also awareness generation among both uh, the, the buyers of the products and also the producers and manufacturers of the product. So in, in today's event, the intention was to one, collaborate with DPIT to share some of the success stories of the ODOP, which is Cashew and Fenny uh, from Goa and, and to uh, kind of motivate younger entrepreneurs to take up these ODOP products uh, in terms of new enterprises also. The other initiative was to uh, create awareness about what different departments are doing in terms of supporting Cashew and Fenny as a product and what different uh, new schemes and policies government is, is contemplating or has already brought about. The third uh, 
uh, uh, idea was to do kind of a stakeholder consultation to identify issues in the entire supply chain of cashew and fenny. Yeah, fenny is a kind of an end product of cashew. So what problems do farmers, do, do wholesalers, uh, you know, uh, uh, processors, exporters they face and what interventions can be taken from the side of view of the DITC. Uh, as I already mentioned, the RAMP scheme has been recently announced by Ministry of uh, Small Media, Micro and Medium Enterprises, as uh, MSME uh, Industry uh, Ministry, uh, in which we are part they are partnering with World Bank, and they'll be jointly funding a scheme where we have to prepare a state in uh, you know uh, uh, plan, and the scheme will be approved and will be given fun funding to number one, most importantly, converge all of the schemes of the state and the centre, as well as identify gaps and take you know, uh, action measures to fill those gaps, uh, whether it is relating to information, whether it is relating to providing some kind of access to credit, providing, uh, you know, more sustainable kind of industries, greening of uh, the MSMEs, all of these issues will be tackled. And so this was the third, uh, 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 you know, uh, outcome that we, that we expect. Thank you. So who are you called today for this? Uh, all the farmers and all were invited for this? Yes. So we had tied up so uh, we first identified all the major stakeholders we had uh, we, we understood that agriculture department and atma and uh, kvk and icr are our are, are major uh, the primary stakeholder and through them we had we were able to identify a lot of cashew cashew farmers and uh, people who are uh, harvesting cashews or processing secondly we, we tied up with the cashew uh, association of, of goa uh, uh, through through uh, uh, Mr. Rohit and uh, from there also we tried to mobilize some of uh, the processors and then the Fenny Association uh, to, to again mobilize some of the Fenny producers of the state to, to bring in people. In addition to that we have our industry, uh, other department and uh, you know the PMU and also some of the consultants from RAMP will be attending today's workshop. This is a one day program? This is a half day program followed by lunch. Like we said that uh, the cashew employment subsidy scheme, it was announced in the large, uh, last last budget uh, and uh, we have formulated the scheme notified and very shortly we will be dispersing uh, employment subsidies to, to all the applicants that, are, that have applied to after we are taking up the process. Uh, secondly, like it was all, uh, also uh, highlighted from the side of the excise department, the excise policy. That they, 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 they come up with excise policy and it was uh, explained in detail as to what, what you know. Uh, then secondly, um, uh, from the Forest Development Corporation also we had uh, uh, the GM uh, speaking here and he also highlighted how they are planning to improve upon the cultivation of, of cashews. Similarly other other uh, stakeholders also, uh, they will be speaking about what, what uh, they have taken. The cashew fan is being uh, identified given a GI tag, so it is any development when benefit yes is so uh, number one uh, the, the uh, benefit major benefit of getting a GI tag is uh, you can exclusively brand your product no and no other uh, uh, you know either any other state or any other country in the world can uh, brand their product as uh, the, the go and cashew mm -hmm. any so this is this is a forward and this also gives us a, a, a kind of a uh, identification like it was spoken uh, champagne can only only be made in uh, the champagne region of France and any other uh, country manufacturing champagne is called sparkling wine so that differentiation comes about and then you understand no, this is important uh, then uh, for cashew also it is almost in the final stages uh, in three or four months if we don't have any other objections it, the, uh, the GI uh, will be finalized and and which will again then big, give a big boost like like Mr. Zate was saying that a lot of people are bringing out some cashew then this will one number one you can tag your product as go and product and then we can also enforce it once we get it we can say that yes you cannot uh, sell any any other non go and cashew as as branding is go and cashew like people have been casually branding and we will make a mechanism like it was already uh, mentioned that they are creating a high level committee accreditation committee through which such such accreditations will happen and then uh, people can brand both the products as the gi products and audio products thank you thank you